Hello, today we are going to do another tutorial on how to get Scratch 3.0, 2.0, and 1.4 on Chromebook without using Wine. First, you need to go to uh, Settings and go to Advanced and click on Developers and click on Linux Developer Environment and and do this like it's recommended that you need to use 10, 10 gigabytes this but I go with 7 gigabytes now it's gonna load for a few minutes it actually takes quite that fast as you see my lower bar is going on in here you can see we got a terminal on for 3.0 you need it's actually quite simple. You need to just do sudo apt update, and then you need to install Flatpak. Thumbs up. It takes quite fast to uh install, so no worries if you need to. These of it takes long. Now you need to copy this. Now you have to mo add if not this flat hub a repo dot there we go. Then we need to install Scratch 3.0 by doing sudo flatpak install flatpub at you emit scratch plus y okay to continue okay once that's done you have to do this sudo tau tau will, will user bin web and sudo yes us the user bin web and then it should be on your start menu you should click on scratch 3.0 and then wait for it to load it takes a few seconds to load here it is scratch 3.0 and all entirely in the chromebook let me just resize it for you yes it works now for 2.0 now for scratch 2.0 it's kind of hard because Adobe Airwars never released it for 64-bit systems and only 32-bit systems, but it's actually possible to do this. We can add etc. I 386 COPT update again, and then you have to CDO AP get install Linux. Image generic D86. Plus Y, and we need to wait for a few minutes because it's ta it takes too long. Okay, once that's installed, you have to install all of these to make Scratch 2 work. Otherwise, it will just clash, either clash or doesn't load at all or takes forever to load now we, we need to press Y for this like any here installation we did so we are gonna take a few seconds or minutes to do this once that's installed you need to uh, do this like W get means website get and this folder and this URL I'm fixing it now, just in case. Okay, I think it's fixed. There you go. Um, now we need to decide if ARX works because ARX doesn't work. Work if you don't have. Let me go to the uh, scratch one profile. We're gonna do that after we install 2.0 this 
Brunex, I think I'm saying that right. I'm fixing this just to be insistent. There we go. Now we got to do ARX once that's in what finish installing. Then tar x data mm -hmm. pseudo cp r user your user need to means copy that to the user folder now we have to do these and we move our user folder then we have to get this Do the same thing we did the first time. Okay, up in that part. And then we have to remove the folder again. And do the same thing we did again. And we could remove that. And then we have to do this X hole plus vocal holes. Then there's, I actually have two methods to this. One's the easy method, it has Dolby Air and Scratch 2.0 by default, and the manual one, which, which manually installs Dolby Air and Scratch 2.0. I kind of prefer using this. I recommend you using this. So this is what I'll be using for the to control. So oh, you just click on dowel anyway when you you click on the dowel icon, and it will take a few minutes to load. Let me just uh, wait. So the uh, a pop up appears, saying to save the save the file to Linux, to our Linux files. So you have to uh, save it to your files. You can go to your Linux files when it is there. There it is, and click on the uh file here and click on install and it's gonna take a few sec minutes to load so okay once that's finished you go to your terminal and type scratch 2 because it's really useful for uh when scratch is actually loading because when you click on the scratch icon you don't know and it will load like forever if it loads forever because you didn't do it right, it, but you probably follow the steps and now it works. Let me exit out of the internal one and go to uh, Scratch 2 in my start menu. And yeah, it works. This is Scratch 2. It took me for like two days to get this working and I finally got it to work on a Chromebook. Now for 1.4. This is Scratch 1.4. To install Scratch 1.4 you have to uh, download this file. This is, this is the original Debian file for Scratch 1.4. Scratch used to have it by in the website but it, they no longer have it now. So we have to use this from the way back machine. Then you have to have to install Blueness if you have it, but install by default. You then you don't need to install this. Then you do that. The same thing we did from um, the 2.0 tutorial, but this time we doing this solely because we want to. Get 1.4. Okay, so reminder that you need to uh, delete the 
eat the user folder in your Linux files. Then you need to do CIBT update. Then you have to install Squeak VM. Scratch 1.0 was made in uh, Squeak. So you need to install Squeak for this, otherwise, this won't work for you. I have to push Y. It's gonna take a few minutes to to install. So keep that in mind. Once that installed, you can uh, load 1.0 here. What the problem is, you cannot play sound, or this error will pop up. You need to uh, install Timothy Interfaces Extra. That way, the sounds could work. I just fixed something now. So, oh, you need to. After that's done, you have to do this and that. Uh, okay, but yeah. Then we need to install these sound fonts because I, I think these sound better than the ones that are included in Timothy Extras. So, oh, if, oh, if you want to uh, get these sound, these sound fonts on here, you have to install Nanko, which is here, here, and like here. Then, and now we have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll, and then we could uh, replace these with the space the free pads with the new ones we just installed there and another one is here and we could exit by hitting the alt x button or control Now you have to uh, Timothy OSA. This will uh, turn on the uh, audio and fix the audio and music. And then you have to go to Scratch, and here we are. We are in here. Yeah, and the uh, sample. Those the example things, those work as well. Okay, here, there we go. Yo, that was a tutorial of getting all free Scratch versions work on a Chromebook. Scratch 1, Scratch 2, and Scratch 3. Scratch 3 was the easiest to install. Scratch 1 was kind of hard, but kind of easy though. But Scratch 2 was hard, and I, I made all three to work on a Chromebook without using Wine. I hope this tutorial is useful for you to. So if anyone likes 1.1, 1 .1, I mean 1.4, 2.0, and 3.0. I hope this. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.